Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I will be continuing the book of Psalms, starting with Psalm 143, which I'm very excited for. Why? You guessed it. Psalm 143 is a Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no, living, shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the works of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Selah. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me. Lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I want to go ahead and say here. We'll start from a, a naranjalical perspective. I want to go ahead and um, just get some uh, translations of uh, one of the verses here, which will be Psalm 143.10. Yeah, yeah, it is in fact a, a reference to the Spirit of God. From a Nerangelical perspective, this would be myself. David says, in Psalm 143.10, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. So I was saying the Holy Spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. So that's one of the things that David really, act, he act, definitely stands out in the Bible in terms of the men of the time period of the Old Testament. David is one of the most adherent, or not adherent, I should say. Um, adherent is not the word. Because the word would be recognizes maybe or adheres to listens to heeds the counsel of maybe maybe one of the words would be um, David certainly has a relationship with the Spirit of God um, that's definitely my belief is that I would have had a, a strong relationship with David um, during the time of the Old Testament. And that definitely stands out whenever I hear David's voice in these chapters because um, David is one of the most righteous men of the Old Testament. And there's a reason he's called the great king is because of the fact that through all his adversity, from the time, if you remember, David was but a shepherd boy once before he slew Goliath and fought the, 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 the neighboring pagan tribes and um, you know, so, you know, survived the persecution of Saul, uh, you know, achieved his victories, became the king, um, you know, had his family. Of course, the unfortunate incident with the adultery and Uriah's death, and ultimately rid the redemption of David as a man whose heart was perfect with the Lord his God. David's ark there are ups and downs, but throughout it, David keeps the word of God. 
He keeps the word of God throughout it. I mean, one of David's most famous um, passages is is that idea of David saying, um, I don't remember exactly which psalm it is. Yes, here, Psalm 110, verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So it's very, very powerful stuff. Um, I, I analyze, if you go to my analysis of Psalm 110, I talk more about that verse there, so please feel free to check that out. And yeah, I'm, I, I absolutely just love reading um, David's voice. And so with that, I'll actually now move to Psalm 144, which I'm very excited about. Why? Psalm 144 is a psalm of David. Blessed be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows, and destroy them. Send thine hand from above. Rid me, and deliver me out of great waters. From the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psaltery, and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me, and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is the people that is in such a case, yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. All right, so very powerfully here, I want to go ahead and discuss one of David, what he says here, which he says in Psalm 144:4, man is like to vanity, his days are a shadow that passeth away. And I, I often talk about this. When, when the Bible talks about men being vain, one of the things that Jesus says is he talks about men they, they they think that they'll be heard for their much speaking so the idea is they make a lot of noise and they think that people will care about them but ultimately no one will care and so one of the other things that the bible teaches in the in the, in the actually the book of psalms is i don't remember which psalm but the idea is that the people who do not believe in god they are they are forgotten in the in the history of the world and the people that do believe in God are the ones that are remembered. And I, I think, I thought that the irony of that was very beautiful because of the way that this is worded, which is, man is like to vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. So that idea was really powerful for me because of the fact that, um, the irony that man seeks to praise his own name and he thinks that by praising his own name, he will be remembered. But actually, it's the men who praise God. Those are the men who are remembered. And so with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today. And transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily dive, yesterday's daily dive video. Since yesterday's daily dive video, I worked at my core. I uploaded and scheduled five workout videos. I uploaded and scheduled many video game videos. And I created this, and I've created this daily dive video for 9-3-23. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily dive video, 
I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.